Okay, guys, once you get the app, you are going to, um, this is how you're going to put in the macronutrients that I give you. You Once you register with Chronometer and um, don't worry about the breakdown of calories, fats, and carbs, and, you know, everything like that, all the macronutrient breaks that they give you because I give you a more precise um more precise numbers based on your goals, based on your height, weight, um, goal body fat percentage, and all of them. So once you go here, go to the bottom at the right-hand corner, you'll see the three little dots that say more. Go ahead and click on that. In here, you are going to make sure you don't get an ad. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. Okay, in here, you're gonna go and um, go to your targets. You're gonna start off with at the top with the energy settings. Here are a few things that, um, don't worry about the the defaults um, where it says rep, um, uh, replace with the with imported activity. You don't need to, need to worry about that. You can click it or unclick it. It doesn't make a difference because we're about to override all of these numbers. The way we do that is by coming all the way down. Do you see where it says um, that custom energy target? This is where you're going to type in your number of calories that I give you. So you put in the total amount of the calories that I give you. Once you have written it down, you don't need to hit save or anything like that. Um, when you exit out of it, so I just kind of clicked at the top, and up at the top on the left-hand corner where it says targets, when I ex once I exit out of that, um, you're going to go ahead and um, uh, it'll save itself. Notice how my weight goal has in here has 150. And obviously, this is not my target weight, but I just completely ignore it because, once again, the only thing I'm trying to keep track of are my... Um, calories in my macronutrients so i'm going to go ahead and click on that targets at the top left hand corner to, for it to save now up next you go to the macronutrient settings and then in here you've got to make sure a few things are in line make sure that um at the top where it says set macros using make sure you hit fixed values on that one okay now in here we're going to track the grams of each of the macronutrients so make sure it's not kcals make sure it's grams okay in here, you're gonna put in the number of grams that I give you for each. And lastly, all the way at the bottom where it says track carbohydrates as, you wanna make sure these are the total amount of carbohydrates in there. Once again, once you click up at the top left-hand corner where it says targets, um, and you click add of all everything, it'll save itself. The way you can check this is if you go over to the left-hand side, if you look um, next to the plus sign that it's in orange, there's your diary the numbers um, should show up in here. Now, don't worry about these rings. They don't really matter and they really don't tell you anything because a lot of the stuff we have deactivated and with overriding the numbers. So the only numbers, if you scroll to the, and to the left, the numbers that you're gonna see here, these are the important ones and these are the ones that you wanna keep track of. Depending on what I tell you, whether to pay more attention to the calories, the proteins, the carbs, or the fats, right? We wanna to get to as close as these numbers, but not over them as possible. So for example, in here, I'm gonna track, um, and this is where I can also confirm that the amounts that I just put in actually show up. So the in this case, right, the 1949 that you see in the energy, right, the 1,149 is what my goal is. In this case, the 191 is what I have consumed in calories so far. So you guys can see what that number means. The first number is what you have consumed so far, and the second number is what you're trying to reach. So this is how you can keep track of your calories um, as you are uh, in, you know, according to as you're eating throughout the day. In order to log something into the journal, just hit that little plus sign at the bottom. And this is where you can add food, right? You can search for a food. And uh, once you search for a food, if you look at the top, um, at the very top of where it has the, uh, the title of the food, if you click that, um, um, that little star and it turns yellow, this food will now appear in your favorite. So I can now um, search for it. And there are my um, sugar cones. Ta da! You guys see that? Um, also, if you make custom recipes, you will, you know, you can create them here and find them here. Um, otherwise, if you are trying to add an item and it doesn't show up in here, you can uh, at the top right hand corner, you can click the scan uh, button, and then you'll be able to scan whatever. Um, whatever barcode you have in front of you uh, or using from that food and it'll automatically import it into your um, into your diary um, I hope this helps
and keep me updated on how you're doing.